right, now we established that loaded stretching is a very powerful tool for increasing muscle mass. But it can also have a great impact on your capacity to perform on the field. If you're an athlete, for example, football player, basketball player, all that stuff. Uh, one of the reasons, I'll explain what happens when I'm playing a sport and I want to change direction, for example. Now, if I'm changing direction, I have first to absorb force, then stop the downward progression, then propel myself in the opposite direction. Now, the big mistake people make when they're training oftentimes is that they emphasize the concentric or lifting portion a lot more so than the eccentric and the isometric. Now, that leads to somebody who's very powerful but can't absorb his body. If you are weak eccentrically and isometrically, if you're not solid in those regimen, when you land, you are wasting energy absorbing before you can reverse direction. So if you're like that, you are either wasting potential power energy or even worse, you get out of position, create, increasing the risk of injury. So loaded stretching, which emphasize your capacity to hold solid in that position, will make you boom, boom, more capable of absorbing energy and reversing direction. It does so two ways. First, by increasing your strength in an isometric and eccentric action which require different recruitment methods than a concentric action. So by holding my stretch position, my muscle become really, really strong in an isometric action. No movement, producing force without movement. The stronger I am in an isometric action, the less downtime, the less transition time I have between the absorption and the projection, because remember, I first absorb, I stop. Stop, it's an isometric action. Then I propel myself in the other direction. If I am strong in an isometric way, I'm strong at just holding a position. I'm good at boom, boom. If I'm weak, boom, it takes a while to be able to stop, then change direction. The stronger I am isometrically, the faster I'll be able to change direction in an explosive movement. So that's the first way. It also, as we saw in the first capsule, EQIs combine an isometric, but also an eccentric when the muscle fibers are too fatigued to hold the position. So you are also strengthening the eccentric portion of the movement. So if I'm strong eccentrically, I can change direction without crumbling down. So I will be a lot faster changing direction or moving forward if I'm sprinting. That's the first way that loaded stretching improves performance, by making me stronger isometrically and eccentrically. The second way, Loaded stretching has been shown to increase the hypertrophy of the tendon. Basically, it will make the tendons bigger and more resilient. Now, a thicker tendon can store more potential energy. Energy that can be used in the subsequent movement. If I have big tendons, Boom, the energy of my body falling down is stored in my tendon. And that can be used in the following action. So I'm much stronger than just what my muscle can do. I'm using that elastic energy, that stretch reflex, to propel myself further. So the thicker my tendon, the stronger the stretch reflex is. The stronger the stretch reflex is, the more power I have in the explosive action following the stretch. So loaded stretching by making the tendon stronger and thicker 
will increase my capacity to be more powerful. Even though it's an isometric movement uh, action, there is no movement. So why would it increase power? Well, it increased power by making the tendon stronger and thicker. That increased plyometric action, like running, like jumping, like changing direction. The third way, because there's a third way it increases power production, we saw that in the earlier capsule. Because when I'm doing a loaded stretch, my muscles are deprived of oxygen, right? The muscle is contracting while it's being stretched. As a result, blood cannot come inside that muscle. So my muscle do not receive oxygen. If the muscle doesn't receive oxygen, it will automatically switch to recruiting more fast switch fibers, which function without the, the help of oxygen. If I have no oxygen in, I recruit more fast switch fibers because the body knows these fibers can function without oxygen. If I do that often enough, I program my nervous system to be more effective at recruiting the fast switch fibers. And an athlete that is better at recruiting his fast switch fiber will be more explosive because he brings those fibers in sooner in a movement so he gains a fraction of a second on each and every contraction and if that means like a hundred meter sprint that could be a difference of like two tenths of a second for example just from recruiting those fibers faster. So loaded stretching will increase performance, not only muscle mass, and it does so by strengthening the eccentric and isometric actions, by thickening and strengthening the tendons, and by increasing fast switch fiber recruitment. So as you can see, great way to train for maximum power. <laughs>